The SU-57 Phelan Stealth Fighter got a breakthrough this August when four were produced, providing an optimistic future for the Russian-made fifth-generation fighter. The SU-57 is the result of promising aviation complex of the Frontline Air Forces program that began in 1999. This designed to perform a wide range of missions from air superiority to land and sea attacks. Like previous 5th generation fighters, the SU-57 is designed with radars scattering super maneuverability, advanced avionics and an internal weapons bay. Developing an advanced fighter equipped with new technologies, tech time and resources, the SU-57 program is no exception. So far, Russia has spent decades and huge resources, but the results are not clear. During the testing of new system for the SU-57, the designer relied on existing airframes. For example, the internal weapons compartment of the SU-47, the engines and the flight control complex from the SU-27M. By 2004, the Russian design team had agreed on the shape and feature for the SU-57. The Russian Defense Ministry then approved the concept and the prototype fighter was put into development for flight testing. The SU-57 program struggled with planning. It was supposed to make its first flight in 2007, but the timeline was repeatedly delayed. By 2009, the Russian admitted that the SU-57 was having engine problems. In early 2010, the SU-57 made its first flight in 47 minutes. However, immediately a technical fault was identified. The body frame of the SU-7 has a tendency to crack. In the end, the structure problem was fixed and redesigned. And they said 57 will enhance composite material stronger, tail and wingspan were both slightly larger. At first, the Russian Ministry of Defense planned to order 60 SU 57s, but the goal is increasingly lower. Now, only a handful of SU 57 are in service. But as the last glimmer of the hope, the SU 57 program seems to be on the right track. For 5th generation Monty Roll fighter SU-57 work mass produced today under a state contract with the Russian Ministry of Defense, said the CEO of the United Aircraft Corporation, Mr. Yuri Sliusa, Sota's new agency. According to the agreement with the Russian Ministry of Defense on the mass production of SU-57, four aircraft continue to be built. This year, we plan to deliver the next batch of aircraft. UAC was completed the work with subcontractors in accordance with the signed contract. TALS news agency added, the Russian Aerospace Forces will receive 22 SU-57 fighters by the end of 2024, and then the number will increase to 76 by 2028. The first fighter has been delivered for the Russian army by 2020. With the latest information, concerns about the embargoes imposed by the West that have caused Russia to stand still in the production of more SU-57 have been somewhat averted. But besides that, there are also comments that there is no guarantee that the SU-57 production process will be okay, especially when compared to the previous timeline in favorable conditions and still continuously delayed.